Hey guys, um, Lars here from Vinifab. I thought we might do a bit of a blog um, about our lead up to Chrome. So here in Christchurch, we have, well in New Zealand, we have a thing called Chrome Expression Session. Um, it's pretty much grab your car, take it out to the track, drive around with your mates, there's skids, roll racing, drifting. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a really, really good event for us. Uh, we only get two events here in the South Island a year like this. Um, so lead up to it's pretty big. Everyone goes pretty, uh, pretty hard. So thought we'd do a little bit of a, a video showing you guys our lead up to Chrome and what we actually go through. Um, things have actually been crazy here for the last couple of weeks, so we haven't had a chance to catch up with that. But um, Sunday we've got a little bit of time up our sleeve. So we've got Bodie's FC down here today. Um, we've been building this thing over. A few years now, um, the first full turbo setup that we actually did for one of these cars was the man himself. So I guess, do you want to give us a bit of a rundown on the old girl? See what I know what's going on. Um, these people don't really. Yes, do we pop yeah. the bonnet and show them what's going on underneath? Yeah. Little 13B with a big fucking hairdryer on the side <laughs> of it. Um, full cut bridge port. Just had Mark recently tune it up. A bit more fuel, a bit more boost. Making some pretty good numbers, which we're pretty happy with. Get it out to the track for a bit of a shakedown, it'll be cool. So what sort of boost are we pulling out of it again? Um, just over 20 PSI. 600 horse, 600 newton meters. Just put in a um, close ratio dog box, HKS gearbox, so that's going to be pretty cool. See how much that changes the car. It's retrofitting some electric power steering in there. She gets a bit of a handful sometimes. <clears throat> New intercooler that was holding us back on the dyno, so Lars whipped me up a new one of them. <clears throat> that unleashed some power. Keep the air temps under control. So the, so the old one, we actually didn't build the old one. This is from the previous setup when Bodie first built the car. Um, so <clears throat> I think, we, what did we get to like 550 and it was getting some stupid air temps. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. literally, with the new one, we have the air temps um, in half. I think they were like 65 degrees at the end of our pool. Now we're like just under 30. Yeah. yeah. So, and then... Uh, yeah, it actually gained 50 horsepower by just simply changing it over as well without actually adding any boost or fuel, just simply just changing the intercooler, which is really cool to see as well. Um, and then we also obviously changed all the back lines to AN fittings that we've bought in ourselves for our own builds. <coughs> and then, yeah, obviously got the one AIG in coils. Well, we've got 2200cc injectors all around. Yep. So today we're going to try mount the electric power steering and toying up a few ideas about wing stays, I guess. But yeah, this thing's been in uh, development for a few years now. I think, what, when did we first build it? It was about five years ago now, eh? So it's come a long way, five years. So it's got a little test mount for the electric power steering down there. What's the power steering pump again? A160 Mercedes. Ah, yep. So, yeah, and then since we've got the G4 controlling everything, full cage, some brides. We made a drop tank for it that actually runs a surge tank inside it as well, so it's all one box. Little pumps behind the crash bar there. And then full three and a half inch exhaust and two and a half inch screamer pipe coming out to the back. Ready to go break some hearts, hopefully next weekend. <laughs> so I'm not very uh, very savvy with this old GoPro, so I thought I'd show you a few other things that we got going on at the moment. So, <clears throat> got the old GDR down at work at the moment. <clears throat> Prototyping a new turbo setup for these. Can you hold the bonnet please, bro? So, um, so it's a turbo that I'm going to run on this car, but not the turbo setup. I just wanted to prototype the manifold that we could add to our stuff. 
Uh, so it's a G35, 1050, uh, one, one and a half inch Schedule 10, uh, Schedule 40 steam tube, um, and mild steel. And then we've got the option of a four inch dump pipe, plumbing gate, um, titanium intake pipe. These will be available soon. We're just going to try to get this all together so we can take the motor out this week and put it on a stand and show you guys what we can do. Obviously adding a few more things to our um, catalogue. We've got a few rails now as well. We've got clamps. So they'll be all display this weekend. And then we've got the Vards S15 that we've been working on for a while now. Um, so it's full V-mount. Um, so a little SR20. Um, it's got pong cams, four low head gasket, pretty much standard engine. Um, we're running 1000cc injectors um, and then one of our own V-mounts with a dirty old hole set. Um, <coughs> so we've just blacked everything out. So James, is, James has done a very nice job with the V-mount setup and stuff. Done a full TI intake pipe, which came out so nice. What we did struggle with this setup compared to our battery setups is space. There was not much space for everything. So I don't know if you can see down there, but we've actually had to delete the power steering. So we're going to just put an electric power steering on the boot, run it to the front. There's just too much going on. And then full blacked up female ducting and stuff in the front with a wall all over there. This will be on display next week as well. Um, so yeah, really stoked how this has all come out. It's a lot of a lot of work gone into this to get it to where it is now. But still under still under construction. Um, so it's not a finished car yet, but it's pretty close. So yeah, and then last night we got my old girl um, got the engine back in the car. We had a bit of an issue with one of the rotor bearings picking up. So. Um, Jason, our good mate, has done us a solid getting it apart and back together in time. Some big hours. So we spent the whole day yesterday piecing it all back together. Um, and then we brought it back to work last night. I think, what, about 7 or 8 o'clock? Yeah. And then we're into it getting in the car. Um, so we've got pretty much everything back in. We've got the new 4.8 diff in it. Did originally have a 4.1 in it, but it was just way too tall. So we've got the 4.8 in it now. So hopefully she unlocks it. Unlocks a few things, um, and then we've also got Damon's little series one here um, that we've done the full resto on. It's a bit dusty at the moment, but um, we're going to bring this along to show people what we've done as well, which should be pretty cool. Obviously, still under construction as well. Um, this thing's been fighting us along the way, but it's very close. So, and then yeah, we've got Cam, our new guy. He is working on his S14. He's done this all himself in his garage up in Nelson, which is really, really cool. Um, so he's just putting a catch can together. Um, he's obviously going to have a catch can on the track and a radiator overflow. But this is a very cool car that he's built himself in his garage, which is really, really cool. So yeah, so today we, today I guess we're going to electric power steering in Brody's car. And then I've got to make a radiator oil cooler for mine exhaust on um yeah a few things to do so it's gonna be a busy day let's get into it all right so we are in the week of chrome uh, monday morning you can see nice winter's cold day a fair bit going on um <clears throat> so <clears throat> plan of attack we've still got a few cars to get ready so the customers didn't have a chance to get them ready for chrome uh like the s14 um, so James is putting up an exhaust for that. So made a dump pipe and everything for it on Friday. Mild steel, it's beautiful. I think James heard his, heard his back from doing too much been gardening. A, been a now, eh? Old lady. <laughs> Old, man, Old lady. And then you got Cam, uh, make a couple of undercoolers. <laughs> so we got Bodie's one that we made. He's just putting a top cap on it so we can get that off the powder coating. And then we've got one for an order and then one for the show. So, and then <coughs> a quick list of parts to get and things to do. So yeah, fair to say it's gonna be a busy week. So Monday night, um, pretty good day today. Lads have been real helpful, got a few things done. 
um, for other customers and stuff to take with us to Chrome. I have got some the GoPro, some Woolworths, four pots mounted on the front there. Um, so yeah, spent the afternoon mocking out brackets and figuring all that. Um, so just spent the night working out spacing and all that stuff. Um, so pretty much nearly on track, I guess. Um, oh, settle down GoPro. Um, so yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll get the brakes all finished and then get the radiator and oil cooler made and mounted in the car. Uh, I've got to make remake a new oil cooler line to we've changed the oil from going to the bottom of the block at the back to the oil pedestal at the top. Um, so I've got to make a new line of that, clean up the other line. Um, what else? Oh, I've got to match port the low intake gasket um put the water pump back on um so there's still a bit of shit to do tomorrow and then hopefully wednesday we'll have it running um and then wednesday night we're going to go do some k's on it um and then hopefully it's pretty much all smooth sailing thursday um get everything ready for our trade stand um nigel's been really really helpful from franklin and he's going to send us down a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys um what they offer which is really really cool all right so tuesday um i might look like a simone because i've been polishing all morning uh <coughs> oops just stretched it up so making some new oil cooler in tanks a bit scratched up don't don't judge and then making your radiator for own car jimmy's been nice enough to mop this up for me um so yeah that's for shop car So Wednesday morning, um, the boys and I got fucking a bit done yesterday, which I really, really stoked about. Um, a few things um, that we got done were the main ones, the radiator and oil cooler for this. Um, James hung this up yesterday for me. <laughs> um, I'm pretty happy how that came out. So we're going to do the final polish. Um, <clears throat> Obviously on the big jobs when you're trying to rush it, um, <clears throat> one of us drilled a hole in the wrong place for the oil cooler line, so I'm just going to have to fucking uh, run a fitting higher. Um, both those fittings should have been at the top, but get it on the big jobs when you're rushing shit. Um, brakes are done, so we got them all mounted last night, happy days, they are sick, so Hook up the lines to that today, bleed them up. Um, so, <clears throat> gotta go make the oil cooler lines. Obviously, that one down the bottom needs a 90 now instead of a 45, so I'll go get that sorted out. Um, I've gotta get an oil temp sensor gauge. They're gonna mount on that oil cooler or on the pedestal up here. Um, I think they look a bit uglier when you've got that extension off there. I'll see how I get, get on. I might want just one on the block. 
um, run the fuel lines. We put the intake manifold on last night. So this thing should definitely be running today. Um, and then <coughs> Cam is finishing off the GDR intercooler so we can get that off the powder coating. Um, and then hopefully James is doing the exhaust, um, <coughs> running out the downpipe and stuff at the moment. <coughs> and then we might actually take the whole motor and motor it out of the car uh, and make the wastegate plumb back out of the car. Um, so we are going to take this motor to Chrome on a stand to show people our new turbo kits, um, fuel rails. <coughs> Don't look too closely, but uh, if your rails and stuff, um, and then we'll put half of hey, something is special, and then half of Nigel's stuff onto this motor as well. We tried to sort out yesterday. We've got some ACM boards, whatever you call it, I think it's ACM. Um, so black, so we're going to make a stand for this today as well. Stand both of these up on their sides. Um, and then we're going to mount all his new AN spanners, all of his parts, all on this board um, with his logo and our web page on it. And then we're going to build another one for ourselves. So it's Wednesday and we've still got a lot of stuff to do. So get back into it. Um, so it's Thursday morning. Bit of a mess. <laughs> Workshop is a mess. We're having a bit of a clean up. Um, yeah, we didn't really do any filming yesterday. Today, uh, yesterday I was pretty hands on trying to get my little car going um, and get this thing all together. Pretty damn happy how this is all showed, turned out. Yeah, we got this all built last night, going last night. Brakes are all back together. Oop. The wall wood's on, um, new discs on, all coolers all in. Um, so, yeah, we um, run it up last night. Everything, wee, everything running sweet. All right, so there's only one more sleep till Chrome. Um, it's been a busy, busy, busy few days. Um, this afternoon, I actually felt like we're actually on top of things, and it hasn't been so stressful like it usually is. So it's been real good. Um, the girls have been very busy, and they've got a couple of our boards all set up with parts. Looks so, so good. Prices discount this weekend. Um, and then over here is our board. So parts that we manufacture or we get as our own parts. Um, so we're getting AN spanners now. We've got R32 radiator mounts. We've got our billet 13B flange set up. We've got 2JZ and RB fuel rails, LS 13B. James whipped up this mean little titanium intake pipe. Um, with our new titanium hose clamps. Uh, we've got our Wiggins clamp set up pipe here. Um, our bead roller. We've got a manifold that's going to go here. We have a GDR intercooler that we've just manufactured and now it will be available on our webpage also. So <clears throat> a lot of things you guys obviously don't see behind the scenes. Um, we have been super busy. We do usually try to post most of our stuff. Sorry, technology is not my best friend, eh? Um, so now, moment of truth, Nathan Chapman at Tyrell has just got us some brand new man cans for the old girl. The old one's looking pretty tired, so shout out to Nathan. Even Good bug even dropped them off. So, set up right for the weekend. Um, we've got the motor all running sweet now. Um, Super, super stoked. Super amping for the weekend now. Um, so I think it is about 8 o'clock. Um, everyone's gone home. Um, a few of the boys from up north have come down um, already, said hello. They've gone off to uh, get a new night's sleep for the night. I am, on the other hand, and we're going to go for some drives. I'm going to try to get some Ks on this old girl tonight. Hopefully try to get at least three, 400 Ks on it. <coughs> so... The cop pilot for the night. Yeah, good. Yeah. Bring on car. Yeah, backwards.
right, so we've made it to Meffin. Uh, first tank gas gone. Found a clutch. Um, so, running like a little kitten. How many k's do you reckon we've done so far? 100 k's. 100 k's, yeah? Bit of driving left to do. Yeah. Fuck, this shit ain't cheap, eh? <laughs> Alright, super long night, do some K's. Um, boys have been busy this morning getting everything ready. Got the 15 on the trailer, back down at auto image, given the groom. Looks amazing. For the opposition, we don't do this for mass appeal mm, Don't make me blast still I put on work, no fly to mirror They want me to lose, but I can't Mama shed like a thousand tears I can't be that shit to waste I pull up in Mercedes Next year, you gon' see me pull up in the race All I know is ball hard Mama told me, boy, make sure you tired the race hey, When I was down by, boy, I got on my knees I started to pray Now I'm bringing the grandma Yo, I'm back to win, so it's a part of the game Yo, now we getting paid Every single day, yeah So I said I can turn an 8 to a 28 <laughs>
so we're down here at Chrome Expression Session. Um, weather has really put it on for us for the weekend, which has been really, really good. Um, kind of forgot to charge the GoPro, so giving it a bit of a go now to walk around and show you guys kind of uh, what's going on around here at our stands. Um, so we've got Alex's Louisa Coop. Put on a show for these awesome pictures we've got. And we Alex is our painter, um, lives up on Blenheim, it's about a four hour drive up the island, up South Island in New Zealand. Um, and then yeah, over here we've got, got the S15, Navarre's S15 on display. And then we've got Pete Zebos, you might remember this, he's had a paint job now since. And then we've got uh, the jig engine, another GDR on display, a few parts boards behind. Pretty damn happy how these turned out. I decided to um, load them on the trailer and take them home last night and uh, yeah someone didn't put nylock nuts on there so two of them fell off. Sorry Nigel. <laughs> um, but yeah Bodie's car is going on form. 